Today I want to review a book that has had a huge impact on me and my thinking about the world, my understanding of the world, and the way it's designed. Um, this also has got me thinking a lot about bias. Uh, so the book that I'm talking about is Invisible Women by Caroline Criado Perez. This book is astounding. It is absolutely filled with stats, stories, and evidence that really shows how our entire world is designed with this understanding that sort of the default human is a man. So Perez goes into a, a bunch of different aspects of our lives, um, from education system, from how uh, we invest in companies, our, um, like the way our medical system works, the way research trials work, even things like uh, cars. Um, so you might not realize this, but they don't do uh, crash tests with dummies that are designed like female bodies. Um, the, the best that they do is they sometimes put a smaller man in the passenger seat to sort of mimic a woman, except women's bodies are designed very differently from men's. Um, the, way they, the way weight is distributed, um, all kinds of things, and we don't account for this. Um, there's, you know, she talks about how public restrooms are designed and how this negatively impacts women, particularly in developing countries and where public restrooms are often the only restrooms and women wind up um, being afraid to go use them because they're in very dangerous areas and you're significantly more likely to be sexually assaulted while going to the bathroom. So women either run the risk of putting themselves in dangerous situations or they simply hold it and then they run the risk of um, uh, UTIs, in, uh, infections. This book covers nearly every aspect of our lives and makes it very clear that women are considered an afterthought instead of a priority. Our perspectives are not prioritized in really any way. And this is very damaging to our health, our safety, our ability to get ahead in life, our ability to get businesses funded or, um, or you know, bills passed. And, you know, most people <laughs> realize that I'm, I'm a pretty avid feminist. But reading this book, it opened my eyes to the way this, the way humanity and society treats women as an afterthought instead of as a, you know, 50% of the population. The way that that is negatively impacting literally every aspect of our lives. It, it's an astounding read. It, there were many points throughout it that made me angry made me frustrated, that made me devastated. And I highly recommend that anybody reads this, but especially if you're in a position of influence, especially if you play any sort of role in the startup world or in product design or development, we have a, a, a an ability to, to change this narrative and to, make the, the teams and the companies that are genuinely crafting our world, designing our world, making them more diverse and making sure that we are accounting for the very real impact that we have on a day-to-day -day basis. And what it really made me realize is that yes, we women are, are treated as an afterthought and that and the book is primarily about what um, Criado Perez refers to as the gender data gap. But this data gap exists on a number of other uh, levels, right? So the racial data gap, the ability or disability data gap. There are so many segments of our society that are left 
are left out of the discussion and are not considered when we are shaping, shaping our world, shaping our products, shaping how medicine works, shaping how our entire world and our lives are designed. So if you're at all interested in how do you create products or policies or programs in such a way that it positively impacts the world and that you are making a bigger difference, I highly recommend you read this book. I, I guarantee it will be a very eye-opening experience for you and you will learn a lot. So uh, click the link, um, either listen to the audio, by the way, she's got a fabulous ac British accent and she is very, very engaging in the audio. So either listen to the audio or read the actual book. Um, there's a ton of information there, and I think all of us could learn a lot about how we can make this world and our products a lot more inclusive.